black racist. Are you a black racist or a white racist? Are you a white nationalist or a, uh, a black law school snowflake crying racism? What are you? You got to be one. You got to be on one side or the other today. You can't be just a regular human being, a regular American citizen. You have to be uh, for or against something. But if you are white, if you are white, you are on the... The downside of this deal, you are on the bad side of the trade right here. So I remember yesterday I was down in a, I was just strolling around the village and I, I met uh, Sean here out on the street panhandling, panhandling, homeless Navy vet, trying to get some, some cash together for a room. Very common sight on, in New York City these days. <clears throat> people, people living out on the street. It's not uncommon historically, but it seems to be, it seems to be getting a little worse. So here's, you know, here's Sean, and uh, he was a Navy vet. He got hurt. Watch his video. It's about seven or eight minutes, and uh, it's him in his own words, um, how he got there and, so, and such. Uh, it's just really, it's really, it's a moving, it's a moving story. And and he's right. At the end, he says this could happen to anybody, you know. So, uh, but he's got white privilege. Right? He's white. Look at him. He's white. He's a white guy, just it's, it's his own fault, right? It's his fault that he's in that position, right, in America, right? You know, and I know a lot of people, they want to, they want to uh, say, oh, this is the oligarch's um, power play. Start a race war in America. Start a race war in America. Get the races fighting amongst each other so that the oligarchs, so that nobody looks at the economic problem in this country. Fight amongst each other so that the oligarchs can have their way with finance and steal all the money. Now, is that a fantasy? <laughs> no, that's actually about the best, the best explanation of what's going on. So whoever wrote that down in the comments, thank you. Because that, that's really what it is. You know, it's, it's blacks accusing whites of white privilege, taking what, what's, you know, it's fighting over crumbs. That's, that's essentially what it is. So watch my video with this guy. I'll try to catch more people as, as they're out there, you know. It's, it's rare, but it's rare that you can find someone because those, those interviews can go sour. They can go south really fast if you're not, if you're not um, receptive to what's going on uh, around you, sitting on the floor in New York. So students blast Harvard's, Harvard's failure. These are students at Harvard. Failure to address hate messages. I thought the uh, I thought the uh, you know Supreme Court ruled that there is no uh, there, there's no such thing as hate message hate speech right and you just saw uh, Nicholas um, Sandman Mr Sandman the young teenager who got uh, attacked on uh, he was at a, on a school trip at the Lincoln Monument him and his classmates and a bunch of angry blacks the black Muslims from behind were screaming te- you know screaming shit at them and calling them calling them incest children and, you know, fucking, you know, racist babies and such, right? No problem there. No problem. Sandman loses his, uh, loses his case against uh, the Washington Post. No problem. That's not hate speech. That's okay. It's, it's okay speech. But when four uppity blacks that probably got so much privilege, you know, in terms of uh, affirmative action and student loans and every possibility, every every uh, piece of assistance to get to where they were, uh, somebody sends them an honest e- anonymous email suggesting that, hey, maybe, uh, maybe you got there because you're black. Uh, uh, the, all hell breaks loose. So listen to the story. A black student group at Harvard Law School slammed the prestigious in the university saying it, quote, woefully play, uh, failed to act woefully failed to act in response to offensive emails and text messages anonymously sent to four students. Wow, that's pretty heavy. I wonder, it must have been like some real heavy racist shit, right? Sent an anonymous email. Ooh, that's so offensive. God, if you get a, an email and somebody insults you in an email, boy, you should go, maybe you should run out and sue them. Hey, right? fucking, oh man, you got, sue for getting your feelings hurt. Right? That's where we are today, right? Everybody's a snowflake, right? Lawsuits all over the place. A Harvard Black Law Students Association in in a Friday statement vented its frustrations over the school's inability to determine the source of a message 
and over what they called its lack of transparency in investigating the incident. Whoa, wow, a bunch of black lawyers, wannabe lawyers, getting, getting, uh, getting aggressive with Harvard. Quote, now more than seven months since the first hateful message was sent, the sender of this message remains unidentified and free to continue harassing black and women students. Meanwhile, the targeted students have been left to continue fearing for their safety, <laughs> the group said. Fearing for their safety. Wow, must have been a violent message, too. Four students, we'll get into the message. Four students, two of whom are black, <laughs> were the recipients. What were the other two? Were the recipients of messages that read, in part, quote, We all hate you, and quote, you're just here because of affirmative action. <laughs> that's not the only, that's not, that's not hateful. That's actually funny. And you accuse a bunch of uppity blacks uh, at a law school where they probably came from, from, from nothing and they're, they're riding the coattails of, of uh, you know, certain grants for blacks and they, got a, they, they get a lesser score on a test as opposed to whites or Asians because they're black. Affirmative action. Affirmative action is, is real. That's a real thing in our country. Right? So to say, we all hate you, well, that's your opinion. You can hate anybody you want. You don't necessarily have to love everybody. We hate you. I hate you because, because you just, you're just there because of affirmative action. You probably took that position from a white person because the white person has to score a higher grade or has to pay more money than you. Ah, so that's hateful. That's hateful to the four blacks or the two blacks and the two people that we don't know. The victims, these are, they're victims now. The victims reported the notes to the school officials, setting off an investigation by university police, uh, information technology officials. Wow. Sadly, the reality of technology sometimes permits those who commit such acts to evade detection. And we are disappointed that we were unable to identify who is responsible despite our efforts along multiple fronts, a Harvard Law School spokesman said. So, so this, is, this is ridiculous shit right here, right? What about, what about this? Let's look at some real racism. Well, look at Covington kids, right? Nicholas Sandman, he sues for, for getting s slandered and, you know, smeared by uh, Washington Post, MSNBC, CNN, saying that he instigated a riot on the, or, or hateful speech on, on the steps of the, the Lincoln Monument out at the mall in Washington, D.C. on a school trip, smearing him without getting the story right. Now, all right, mainstream media got the story wrong. They always do. I, I don't give a shit about fake news. If you don't like fake news, stop watching it. If you don't like Fox and you don't like C well whoever not Fox if you don't like the Washington Post and the you know the mainstream media don't watch it that's why I mean look I love it because if it wasn't for if it wasn't for fake news I wouldn't have a job I wouldn't I wouldn't have a voice I wouldn't have a goddamn channel if 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 there wasn't for, if it wasn't for fake news because right because it's fake over there and then you come here and you get the truth right so don't watch it don't watch it. That's the solution to the problem. So watch, watch this. This is um, a black Hebrew, right? Now, the black Hebrews, that's the story of Harvard, right? We know that, that there's a bunch of black snowflakes at Harvard who were offended by some, some, some email, right? And they're, they're protesting, raising their fists in anger. But where are they? What, what, about, what about Covington? What about the, the young kids, literally underage kids, teenagers, on the steps getting bullied and buggered by a bunch of radical blacks, a, a, a man swinging a, a hammer on a drum in front of the kid's face, right? And, and, there's, and there's no problem there. There's no, where's the outrage? Where's the black outrage? Where's the black lawyers from Harvard protesting the, the, uh, the, the blacks screaming racial, racial epithets at teenagers on the Washington Monument? That's free speech, right? That's not hateful speech. And we should ignore that. So this is an interesting piece from uh, that Fox caught. Black Hebrew Israeli members speak out about Covington. Listen to this. Turning now to the group that instigated the Covington incident, the Black Hebrew Israelites. Here they are in Washington, D.C., yelling at the high school students. 
make America great again. A bunch of child molesting. Look at all these dusty crackers with that racist garbage on. Look at your future school shoot. That's right. A bunch of in incest babies. Biggest terrorist on the face of this earth is the pale face man, woman, and child. The black Hebrew Israelites are described as a black nationalist hate group. Look at, sorry. Look at, look at the position. Look where they were. Look where these blacks were when the shit was going on, right? They're sitting right on the edge, instigating the whole thing, right? That's what was going on. They're screaming, incest babies. Uh, they, you heard what they said. Israelites right? so, are described as a black nationalist hate group with militant. Right? And there's the, there's the Covington kid. So they're getting shouted down, right? Now, again, who, we, we already know the story. We know that the Covington kids were innocent in the matter and that the mainstream media got it wrong. But, but the point is, at Harvard right now, you've got radical blacks, radicalized blacks, hypersensitive racist blacks crying racism and, 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 in, and in their own people, right, their own fellow blacks are on the steps screaming racial epithets at young white kids. And there's no outrage. Just I'm just showing you the comparison. Just showing you the, the uh, the the vile contrast of behavior. Overtones. They believe blacks are the true descendants of the biblical Israelites, and many of their sects are anti-white. Many here on the East Coast pretty familiar with the group who dress up in robes and preach their teachings on street corners. I happened to catch up with them in Philly about two years ago. President Trump. How are you feeling about it? How do I feel about President Trump? I think that white people put in off, put Trump in office, and that was the man that they wanted him to, to rule over their people. Right. But I think black people, Hispanics and Native Americans, have a king that they need to obey. Right. And this is what my power said. Read Acts 5 and 29. Acts chapter 5 and 29. Then Peter and all the apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Joining me now, Katriel Ben Israel, a former teacher at Kol Sharit Binyai Nas Israel. I don't think I got the pronunciation exactly correct, but I did my best. Now, you heard the sound coming from people in your organization yelling at these high school students. Do you think that was appropriate? Well, first of all, um, that organization uh, that you speak of is not. Uh, representative of the whole nation of Israel. We're descendants uh, by seed, by heritage of this people called Yisrael. So you <clears throat> condemn these people that were hurling that kind of hateful language at the students? Well, I don't know if it was quite hateful. Like it wasn't this. quite hateful. Mm -hmm. So that, that speech, you hear, hear the black man, you hear the black Israeli saying, that's not hateful. Hateful? What do you mean hateful? That's not really hateful. But, but the blacks at Harvard, where's this guy? Why don't you go over to Harvard and 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 uh, fight for the for the for the anonymous email that some snowflake got offended because somebody sent a stray email and 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 pointed out the fact. Well, let's see let's see the blacks at Harvard come clean and say, did you actually receive? Is it a legitimate question? Did you actually receive affirmative action to get into Harvard Law School? Because I would like to know. Did 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 affirmative action assist you at getting into Harvard? <clears throat> That's a legitimate question, not. Are you an incest baby, right? Like these black motherfuckers are screaming at, at these kids, right? Fuckers, well, incest we, babies, child molesters. What uh, do you consider that, love? Well, they have a way and a style that they bring their message to the people. That's, uh, what's that message, though? That's a hateful message. Uh, that's their style. So, so the speech, their speech, the blacks, their speech, oh, that's just their style. That's just their way of speaking. So that's, it's all good. But, but if you have, if you have, uh, if you're a Harvard student and someone, oh, you're so, you're so refined and so, so refined in your blackness that no one can even ask you, oh, by the way, I don't like you. I hate you. And uh, you probably got there because of affirmative action. That's not exactly hateful. That's not exactly calling someone a, an incest baby or, a, you know, or a child molester or some other fucking insane insane um, uh, shit, right? So, so Marx Conte reporting today on black racism. Black racism on the rise. Oh, we want to start a race war? Is that, what, is that what's going on, man? Is that, is, that, is that what's really, really going on? 
are are the are the oligarchs organizing to create a race war amongst the people where blacks fight whites and whites fight blacks and if everybody's fighting they're not paying attention to the pockets being picked and all the, that the oligarchs are really just they're just staging all this this racial nonsense to steal from us right because if you're if you're fighting and arguing arguing amongst each other right and then um you know uh, and so then they can pick your pocket because you're not paying attention. You think the problem is the guy next to you. As long as you keep the, you know, the peons fighting over crumbs, you don't have, uh, you know, then you, you, they're, they're not, they're not going to uh, take a look at the oligarchy, people looting the banks and looting the stock market and, uh, you know, getting the, the, hot, you know, the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of America through Trump's tax breaks, right? You're not going to pay attention to any of that. Focus on black hate, Focus, blacks, focus on the white racist slur in your email. Right? You fucking lawyers, you idiots. Wake up, man. Wake up, America. So Marcus Conte reporting. Hope that was, uh, hope that was insightful for you. You know a little bit about more about black racism in America and, and how whites are being targeted. They are. Marcus Conte reporting.